circumstance does not make the man, it reveals him to himself. Usually, when confronted with hardship, a common tendency among the majority is to contract and dwell on the negatives. This is why most of us will miss out on what these events can actually teach us about ourselves. Let's imagine for instance that you've been involved in a fight on your way back home and got beaten up badly. Most people are likely to feel sorry for themselves, oh I lost my teeth, I couldn't defend myself, poor me, I'm a victim. This kind of interpretation will teach you nothing but to torture yourself internally every time something bad happens. Fact is, your interpretation can be sculpted and reframed in any way you want and the interpretation that you'd want to have is, okay, today I couldn't defend myself, this is something that I need to learn, maybe I should take a martial art class so next time I won't lose my teeth. The reason why this interpretation is better, it's because not only it conveyed an acknowledgement of the weakness that the event revealed in your character, but also a commitment to improve upon that weakness. The first interpretation however, led to nothing but heighten and intensify the negative emotions caused by the event. Now let's say that your girlfriend dumped you, apply the same concept to it. Instead of complaining, ask yourself, why did she run away? To figure out what weaknesses the event might convey about yourself. Oh, I guess I lost my purpose, I became very attached and needy in the last couple days. Good. Lastly, express your willingness to fix your own competence. Oh, maybe I should figure out how to fix this neediness, therefore prevent the reoccurrence of the same problem with my next partner. I'm aware that the problem might not always be you in all cases, sometimes it's out of your control, but considering that it is, the big idea in this context would be, these so-called unlucky situations you find yourself in are exposing weaknesses in your character, every distress you're confronted with in your outer reality unveils distortions in your inner world that needs to be dealt with within yourself. With a strong commitment to continually seek out these weaknesses and proactively strive to improve upon them, you set yourself on the process of shaping a stronger character. And again, circumstance does not make the man, it reveals him to himself. I want you to imagine a guy who's in a constant negative state, always whining about his low wage and hoping for the government to fix his financial problems. Now, I want you to imagine that same guy, but this time we're gonna take his brain out and transplant a millionaire mind in its place. Now we have a poor person with a millionaire mind, what do you suppose he'll be thinking? I'd say the guy will reconsider his miserable situation again and start thinking reasonable thoughts that puts the blame on himself and no longer externally. Oh, I'm an alcoholic, maybe I should replace this bad habit so the money wasted on drinking can be saved. Maybe I should read a couple business books, perhaps that will help. Also, I might want to start a small online project in my spare time and see where it goes. Did you see that? Finally he's thinking plausible thoughts. Earlier, before we could implement the new brain, his thoughts were scrambled, he wouldn't have gotten anywhere with them. Those foolish thoughts wouldn't have allowed him to think up solutions. He was mostly victimizing himself and blaming others for his situation. A man cannot directly choose his circumstances, but he can choose his thoughts. And so indirectly, you truly shape his circumstances. The outer world of circumstance shapes itself to the inner world of thought. And this is a big one. Imagine a guy in university. He finally received his degree after 5 years. But not only was he a good student, he spent most of his spare time fixing his weaknesses, reading and learning social skills. Now imagine another guy, same thing, he got his degree and whatnot, but for the past 5 years he's never put the extra effort to develop any social skills or learn things by himself. He merely followed the rules and was never exposed to stressful situations that could have strengthened his character. Now back to the present, both guys went to a job interview together. The first guy wasn't nervous at all since he literally spent half a decade sharpening his vibe and communication skills. The way he answered questions seemed unreluctant, natural and charismatic, therefore he got the job offer easily. 
Unlike the confident guy, the second man was overwhelmed by anxiety. Oh, why is he looking at me? Should I answer this way or that way? He was nervous as hell, and it resulted in him not getting the job offer. After the interview, the two men crossed each other, and the anxious guy commented, Oh man, you're so lucky, I didn't get the job offer, congratulations to you! The idea here is that the anxious guy completely misunderstood the reason for the confident man's success. There is no such thing as luck or chance when it comes to shaping circumstances, here's why. Both men, as I said, started college naturally introverted. The only distinction is that the second student was willing to challenge his limitations aside from following the rules and over the years he's gone through a major life transformation. Thereby, every situation he encounters today simply reflects what he is on the inside, his personality. And the construct of his personality is the sum of all the experiences he's gone through up until today. Put another way, let's say the confident guy didn't fix his weaknesses and remained an anxious person just like the other guy did. Would you think that, after 5 years of remaining the same, he'll be able to convey a confident character in the face of hardships and attract better opportunities? Hell no! The core principle here is one of my favorite big ideas. The outer world of circumstance shapes itself to the inner world of thought. In other words, men do not attract that which they want, but that which they are. For instance, you wish to have a meaningful relationship with a woman, but you suffer severe social anxiety that needs to be dealt with before you could skillfully interact with the opposite sex. So your current inner state will hinder you from acquiring what you want at the moment. In essence, your outer world can only reflect and provide back what's already present within you. And so again, men do not attract that which they want, but that which they are. As you commit to banish the weaknesses dwelling in your heart and strengthen that character of yours throughout your journey, you will beautify your circumstances as well.